Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Millennial Money by Patrick O'Shaughnessy The central message of this book is that millennials should start investing in the stock market immediately to ensure their financial stability. People born between 1980 and 2000 are particularly affected by this. Investing in the stock market early on can help millennials secure their financial futures. This is due to the fact that, historically speaking, savings account interest rates have been lower than inflation, meaning that money left in a savings account has actually lost purchasing power. Moreover, if millennials start investing at age 22, they can earn $4.7 million by the time they are 65 by investing $10,000 and in the stock exchange and receiving an annual return of 7%. The 2008 financial crisis has caused many millennials to be more risk-averse than their parents' generation, leading to an uncertain financial future. This is due to rising public debt and an aging population, which means that the government has higher costs for pensions and health care. Since Medicare's inception in 1966, annual spending growth has averaged 11%, and a $9.6 trillion funding gap exists between projected benefit spending over the next 75 years and what the government expects to raise through taxes. This means that when millennials reach retirement age, they will likely be on their own financially. Investing in companies all over the world is one of the most crucial aspects of stock market investing. You run the risk of losing everything if the stock market in just one of your target countries experiences difficulty. This is due to the fact that you run the risk of losing everything if the stock market in that country experiences difficulties. As the value of currencies around the world fluctuates, diversifying your portfolio can help you increase your returns. Follow non-conventional investment strategies if you want to maximize your returns. The advice of so-called experts is relied on by many when deciding how to allocate their savings. Buying stocks in the top performing companies as measured by a market index is a common piece of advice given by financial advisors. But you have to be unique if you want to maximize your investment returns. The sector bargain strategy is an alternative to index funds that involves purchasing the stock that is currently trading at the lowest price. Since 1979, the value of the Russell 3000 index has increased by more than 1,100%, outpacing the S&P 500 demonstrating that this strategy often outperforms the leader's strategy over the long run. The Millennial Money Strategy recommends investing in valuable companies at a discount in order to get the most out of your money in the long run. Before investing in a company's stock, make sure it has value and that the share price is expected to rise in the future. Profitability and new cash flow should be considered for this purpose. Compare the stock price to the cash flow of the company to determine which is the best buy. Businesses that fit this profile have grown at a rate twice as fast as the market on average each year. Humans are predisposed to irrational fear and constructive paranoia, which makes them prone to making poor investment decisions. Since investors have a tendency to buy at market peaks and sell at market bottoms, this bias has an impact on the market. Another emotion hardwired into our systems that can lead to irrational trading is greed. Most importantly, the text explains how financial bubbles are caused by the human tendency to seek rewards despite low odds of success. Setting up a recurring transfer from our checking account into our investment account is one example of an automated system that can help us invest without being influenced by our emotions. Short-term thinking rarely pays off, but long-term planning almost always does. This is because our biological makeup compels us to make choices that deliver immediate benefits. This is why bond purchases are so popular during economic downturns. Bondholders get their money quickly and don't have to worry about losing money. The most crucial information presented here is that seasoned financiers usually devise plans that will yield a profit in two or three years, and that the best investments require a significant amount of time to reach their full potential. This is because of the market's propensity for large swings, most of which follow fairly predictable short-term trends. Millennials should start investing in the stock market as soon as possible and there are a few simple guidelines that lead to investment success in the long term, including diversifying their portfolio to include stocks from all over the world, sticking to their strategy, and making investment decisions that go against the flow. They should also think about tax benefits when investing, such as the lower tax rate that applies to gains held for more than a year on the winning or most profitable stocks. 
We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.